Hello everyone, welcome to Bizotech. In our last video, we discussed about the concepts of ages. Now in this video, before we start with solving problems, let me just make sure that you remember the points which we discussed in the last slide, which is if the age of a person is x years, then his age after k years will be x plus k. And the same way is age before k years will be x minus k. And the k times will always be k into x. And next, if the ages is given in the form of ratios like p to q, then the ages will always be px and qx. And the last one, if the current age is x, then 1 by n of the age is x by n. So now with these concepts, we'll directly start with problem solving. The first problem, the sum of ages of 5 children born at an interval of 3 years each is equal to 50 years. Then what is the age of the youngest child? So and it's very obvious that you have options for this question. So which is 4 years, 8 years, 10 and 12. So now let's look into the solution part of this. First thing, let the ages of children be if we take the first age of the child as x, then the next ages of the children be x, x plus 3, x plus 6, x plus 9, x plus 12. Why in the sense? Because in the question they have mentioned that they are born with an interval of 3 years each. And next, a very important thing. Now, the sum of the ages of all the 5 children is given as 50. And next, what you need to do is to calculate the age of the English child, which is this child, x. So in order to calculate that, you just have to add everything. 12 plus 9, which is 21. 21 plus 9, which is 27 plus 3, 30. So that will give you 30 plus 5x is equal to 50. So in turn, 5x is equal to 50 minus 30 which is equal to 20 and from this you have x is equal to 20 by 5 which is equal to 4 and that clearly gives us the age of the youngest child which is 4 years and the right option will be option A 4 years. I hope you are clear about this. Now let's move on to the Second problem, what they have given in second problem, the ages of three friends are in the ratio 11 is to 5 is to 13. So the ages are given in the ratio and next, what is the age of the youngest friend? Again, you have to find out the youngest friend's age if the sum of their ages is 116 years and you have options for this question as well. So every aptitude question will basically have options. So now let's look into the Solution part of this. Let the ages of three friends be 11x, 5x and 13x. Why? Because I had told you in the points to remember. If you remember, the, if the ages are given in the ratio, then their ages will be x times of the given number. The youngest child will obviously be 5x because the minimum ratio child. And then we have been given their sum which is equal to 160. So, add all these three multiplied by x which is unknown is equal to 116 and what you need to do you just have to add 13 plus 11 which is 24 plus 5 29 and x is equal to 116 divided by 29 so which will give you x is equal to 4 and now what we have to do engage chain is 5x so 5 into 4 which will give you 20 years. So the age of the youngest child is 20 years and you are right option answer is option B 20 years. So I hope you are clear with this. So now let's move on for the next problem. Tony is 15 years older than John. If 5 years ago Tony was 3 times as old as John then find Tony's present age. So we have to find the Tony's present age. So let's look into that how to find out the Tony's present age. Now let's look into the solution part of this. 
in a stepwise manner. In order to calculate Tony's age, we need John's age. So let's consider John's age as Y. And now if John age is Y, they have given in the question that Tony is 15 years elder than John. So that will make Tony's age as Y plus 15. And if you continue with the question, you can also see five years ago, Tony was three times elder than John. So in order to get that equation, we need Tony's age and John's age five years ago. So you know points to remember whenever it comes to before ago, you have to subtract the age. So Tony's age will become y plus 15 minus 5. Certainly John's age y minus 5. And now we have the equation. Five years ago, Tony is three times as old as John. So you have to just take John's, Tony's age and is equal to three times the John's age. And all that you're left with now is simplification. So 15 minus 5 is y plus 10 is equal to 3 multiplied to the equation 3y minus 15. And next 3y minus y and then 15 plus 10, 25. So you will have 2y is equal to 25. So y is equal to 25 by 2 which is equal to 12.5. And now you should not get confused here. 12.5 is not Tony's age. It's y which is John's age. So what is Tony's age then? So very simple, it is y plus 15, which is 12.5 plus 15. That will give you 27.5 years. And your right option answer is option B, 27.5 years. So that's how you calculate Tony's age. And next, let's move on to the next problem. One year ago, ratio of Lauren and Elizabeth ages was 5 is to 6. After 4 years, this ratio becomes 6 is to 7. So now what is the age of Elizabeth or how old Elizabeth is? So certainly you have op options for this question as well. And now let's look into the solution part. And the first thing is hint. I have already explained you in points to remember. If the ratios are given in terms of this way. If the ages are given in terms of ratios, it's A is to B. Then it will be AX and px when it comes to ages so the ratios of ages of lauren and elizabeth is 5 is to 6 so their age will be 5x and 6x and that 5x and 6x is one year ago so now what is the present age you have to add that one year and now here don't get confused that ago is there so you have to subtract one that's not how it works ago before and now so you have to add that one year that will give you 5x plus 1 as Lawrence age and 6x plus 1 as Elizabeth age. And then after 4 years, Lawrence age will become addition of 4 to this age and Elizabeth addition of 4 to this age. So that will give you 5x plus 5 and Elizabeth age as 6x plus 5. And next step, after 4 years, they have also given the ratio as 6 is to 7. So if the ratio becomes 6 is to 7, now, Lawrence age divided by 6 is equal to Elizabeth age by 7. So, how, how I have got this equation is very simple. I have Lawrence age here and Elizabeth age one side and the ratio is given as 6 is to 7 which is 6 by 7. So, by considering this, I have just reduced it to make the simplification. And now, 5x plus 5 divided by Elizabeth age is equal to 6 by 7. And now, simple calculations. So, you just have to multiply Elizabeth age with 6 and Lawrence age with 7. And then, you will find out x as 5. So, with that, now we can easily calculate Elizabeth age. Elizabeth age is 6x plus 1. And we know x value as 5. So, 6 5 is 30, 30 plus 1. 31 years will be the Elizabeth age. And there is no compulsion that... Every time they have to ask Elizabeth age itself, you can also calculate Lawrence age, which is 26 years. Anyways, according to the problem, our answer is option C. 31 years is the age of Elizabeth. I hope you are clear with this. And now, let's move on to the next problem. 
here they have given the age of mother 10 years ago was three times the age of her son similar to the old problem after 10 years mother's age will be twice that of his son so once 10 years ago and after 10 years so we have to calculate for both find the ratio of their present ages so before we calculate we have options and then let's move on to the solution part we are given that age of mother 10 years ago was three times the age of her son so that will make let the age of the son if we consider it as x the mother's age will be three times which is equal to 3x this is three years ago but at present the mother's age will be 3x plus 10 and the son's age will be x plus 10 why 3x plus 10 because mother is having age which is thrice of her son next after 10 years very simple just like how you did for Elizabeth and Lauren you have to add 10 years to the present age so that will give us two separate equations which is 3x plus 10 plus 10 which is mother's age and x plus 10 plus 10 which is son's age and we know that the mother's age is twice that of son after 10 years so now it's same simplification so you just have to simplify it so that will give you 3x plus 20 is equal to 2 into x plus 20 and now you just multiply this 2x plus 40 and next you have 3x minus 2x is equal to 40 minus 20 is equal to again 20 so x will come as 20 and we are asked to find the present ratio here they have not asked us to calculate the age so the present age was x 3x plus 10 is to x plus 10 so when we know x is 20 we can just substitute the value so that will give you 70 is to 30 and now 72 is to 30 it can be reduced or deduced to 7 is to 3 so that will be the right ratio which is equal to your answer option option d 7 is to 3 years so with this we complete our first segment of problems on ages and in a next video i'll come back with some more problems and make sure that you learn along with us thank you so much for watching